Hi folks, we're going to take a look at page 318, number 19. Okay, so let's take a look at the question. It gives us this vector here that goes from the origin to the point P, which is given by negative 2, 3, 6. Okay, then it gives us a point B, and I want to find a second point, A, such that the vector from A to B is equal to the vector from the origin to point P. Okay. Now let's keep in mind that in order for these two vectors to be equal, they just need to have the same uh, direction and same magnitude uh, where they are in three space is of no concern. Okay. Now we're actually going to look at this in more detail in class and uh, we're going to find a much more algebraic way to solve this problem. So I'm just going to do this for now uh, and uh, sort of do it intuitively, see if I can figure out just by using the geometry of these vectors to um, uh, figure out what the answer should be. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, and again, I'm going to rarely do this, but since we're just starting out, I'm going to actually use a drawing of the vector OP to help me out. Okay, so if I want to draw, plus it'll give you a sense of how you should be drawing these vectors. Okay, one thing that really helps is that when you're drawing your uh, three space and you're trying to give that sense of perspective is when you draw your ticks along the y-axis make sure they're parallel to the x-axis and when I'm drawing my ticks along the x-axis make sure they're parallel to the y-axis it gives a sense of perspective because remember this uh, axis x is supposed to be perpendicular to yz okay so it's I don't know if you can see that it's supposed to be sticking out of the piece of paper Okay, so in order to draw the point P, which is negative 2, 3, 6, okay, I follow the same way I would with uh, the 2D Cartesian plane. Okay, first I follow along the x axis, so I go two units along the x axis, and then I go three units along the y axis. Okay, so let's draw this here. So three units, and I'm going to try to go parallel to the y axis. Okay, and to help me draw it out nicely, remember we draw that uh, rectangular prism. So first I go negative 2 in the x direction, 3 in the y direction, and now I'm going to be going 6 units up in the z direction. Okay, so let's try to draw this as nicely as possible. So here i got to take this distance here and go up 6 units in the z direction. Okay, so that's about there. Okay, and if I want to really demonstrate this as clearly as possible, again with this sense of perspective, I draw a rectangular prism that are cre that's created by these three sides. Okay, so here, oops, let's try to be as straight as possible. Okay, okay, and try to keep everything as parallel as we can. Okay, so the point negative 2, 3, 6 is here. Okay, and so the vector, okay, would be going from the origin to that point. Okay, a little off, but that'll do. Okay, so again, this really demonstrates just how awful it is to draw these points and these vectors. Okay, so essentially this vector is just the diagonal of this rectangular prism. Okay, so let's, let's go over how we achieved this particular vector, which would be my vector OP. Okay, so this vector was achieved by going negative two units in the x direction, three units in the y direction, and six units up in the z direction. So if I want to achieve another vector that has the exact same magnitude and the exact same direction, okay, wherever my starting point is, I have to go negative two in the x direction, three in the y direction, six in the z direction. Okay, so here I've got some other vector that I have to create, which is going to have the exact same magnitude and the exact same direction. Now notice here, it's much too complicated to try to draw this uh, in any accurate way. So I'm just going to let this represent my other vector. And I know it has to start at point A, which I don't know, so I'll call that X, Y, Z, okay, and end at point B, which is going to be 4, negative 2, 
8. Okay, and as I said, we're going to study a little more closely this idea of creating a vector from one point to another. But let's see if we can figure this out. In order to create the same magnitude and distance, uh, magnitude and direction, sorry, as this vector OP, I have to follow the same route. Okay, it means that as I go from 0, 0, 0 to negative 2, 3, 6, I have to go negative 2 in the x direction. So as I move from x to y, I would have had, sorry, from x to 4, sorry about that, I would have to go negative 2 in the x direction. So I must have started out at x equals 6, okay, and then went to negative 2 in the x direction, okay. Here I had to go 3 plus 3 in the y direction. So as I went from y to negative 2, I had to go 3 in the positive y direction, so I had to add 3 to de get negative 2. So my y value must have originally been negative 5, because negative 5 plus 3 is equal to negative 2. And in the z direction, I had to go up by 6 units, so from z to 8, I had to go up by 6 units, so my z value at a must have been 2. Okay. So just to recap, as I go from A to B, okay, I have to create, uh, recreate the exact same path as when I went from 0, 0, 0 to negative 2, 3, 6. So go down by 2 in the x direction, up by 3 in the y direction, and up by 6 in the z direction. Okay, and that's it for this one.